يا الله يا الله مستشفى مش انجليزي مش انجليزي يا رب يا رب الحمد لله اول مره بنشوف الصاروخ زي هيك والشظايا هذه فبقول لك تبع الجهاد الصواريخ الجهاد الاسلامي ايه فوجه هم بقول لك عون الجهاد الاسلامي انه من عنا هذا شكله من عنا اه مين اللي بيقول هيك؟ بيحكوا انه الشظايا تبعت الصاروخ انه شظايا محلية مش زي شظايا ايش بتقول؟ سبحان الله من عنا ما لقاش غيرين بجد سبيل عاد هذول متفاجئين من المقدر الورد جبت ثلاث حط محط فيه ايش ايش ده؟ بتلاقيهم طالعين من المقبرة اللي ورا المستشفى المعمداني دي اللي هو فسة ونزل عندهم هو في مقبرة ورا؟ اه المعمداني ولك عند الساحة بالضبط هي وين لما تدخل على الساحة؟ أول ما تدخل على الساحة تدخلش على البلد عيدك اليمين في مستشفى المعمداني اه عرفتها Israel says failed Hamas rocket caused devastating Gaza hospital blast IDF spokesman Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari says the Israeli military did not strike the Al-Ali Baptist Hospital in the Gaza Strip earlier Tuesday and that the facility was hit by a failed rocket launched by the Hamas organization. Several surveillance camera footage and video taken by Al Jazeera show a rocket misfire from Hamas which after lands inside Gaza. You can see outgoing rocket fire some distance away. The rocket is intercepted in the air. and breaks apart into shrapnel. After this two explosions are seen, one smaller one, perhaps on the rocket launcher, and a big one on the hospital. The Al Jazeera footage was geolocated by experts on X to the hospital. The military says that following an additional review and cross-examination of the operational and intelligence systems, it is clear that the IDF did not strike the hospital in Gaza. I can confirm that following an analysis of the IDF operational systems indicates that a barrage of rockets was fired by terrorists in Gaza, passing in close proximity to the Al-Ali hospital in Gaza at the time it was hit, says Hagari in a short video sent by the IDF. Intelligence points to Hamas, which is responsible for the failed rocket launch which hit the hospital in Gaza, he says. Hamas and most Arab nations have blamed Israel for the explosion. The Israeli military says Gaza-based terror organizations fire rockets indiscriminately toward Israel and about 450 rockets launched toward Israel have fallen inside Gaza since the beginning of the war on October 7, endangering and harming the lives of Gazan residents. The Al Jazeera footage was geolocated by experts on X to the hospital. IDF, Islamic Jihad behind deadly Gaza hospital blast. Army says failed rocket launch by terrorist group led to mass casualty event at hospital sheltering refugees. Netanyahu, those who brutally murdered our children are also murdering their own. Hezbollah announces Wednesday day of unprecedented anger. The IDF said Tuesday night that a failed rocket launch by the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, PIJ, terrorist group was the reason behind a deadly blast at a hospital in the Gaza Strip that caused hundreds of casualties. Analysis of IDF operational systems indicates that a barrage of rockets was fired by terrorists in Gaza, passing in close proximity to the Al-Ali hospital in Gaza at the time it was hit, a statement read. Intelligence from multiple sources we have in our hands indicates that Islamic Jihad is responsible for the failed rocket launch which hit the hospital in Gaza. Lt. Col. Jonathan Conricus, the international IDF spokesperson addressed Tuesday overnight foreign reporters, stating that the IDF may share intelligence or unprocessed information with the media that substantiates Israel's non-involvement in the Gaza hospital explosion. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said in response, Let the world know, the barbaric terrorists in Gaza are the ones who attacked the Gaza hospital, not the IDF. Those who brutally murdered our children are also murdering their own. President Isaac Herzog wrote on X, an Islamic Jihad missile has killed many Palestinians at a Gazan hospital, a place where lives should be saved. Shame on the media who swallow the lies of Hamas and Islamic Jihad, 
broadcasting a 21st century blood libel around the globe. Shame on the vile terrorists in Gaza who willfully spill the blood of the innocent. Never before has the choice been clearer. Israel is standing against an enemy made of pure evil. If you stand for humanity, for the value of all human life, you stand with Israel. Islamic Jihad denied the allegations. The Palestinian Enclave's health ministry claimed that at least 500 people were killed in a massive explosion at the Al-Ali Arabi Baptist Hospital in Gaza City's Zaytun neighborhood. Hezbollah denounced Israel for the attack, announcing Wednesday a day of unprecedented anger against Israel and U.S. President Biden's visit to the country, according to a statement released by the terrorist group late on Tuesday. While Hamas was quick to accuse the IDF of the deadly blast, Israeli authorities were at first unsure whether the hospital which had been sheltering thousands of refugees whose homes were destroyed since the beginning of the war, was attacked by Israeli forces and attributed the blast to a misfired rocket launched from Gaza. Egypt's Defense Minister Yoav Gallant vowed to get to every single member of Hamas. Our planes can reach any location. Every missile has a target. Defense Minister Yoav Gallant vowed to get to every single member of Hamas. Our planes can reach any location. Every missile has a target. We will get to every single member of Hamas. Hamas members have two options, either die in their positions or surrender unconditionally. There is no third option. We will eradicate Hamas and strip it of all its capabilities, Gallant said during a visit to the Nevada Air Base near Be'er Sheva where he spoke with pilots, air crew members and technicians. Oh. On October 17th, Islamic Jihad destroyed a hospital in Gaza when a rocket aimed toward Israel misfired and landed in Gaza. This isn't the first time. While thousands of rockets are fired toward Israel, rockets fail. These failed rocket launches cause mass destruction and the death of countless innocent individuals inside Gaza. The IDF has concluded an after-action review and confirmed that the Islamic Jihad was responsible for the strike at the Al-Hali Al-Ma'adani Hospital in Gaza. We did an immediate review with all relevant branches of the IDF. This is what took place on Tuesday, October 17th. At 6.15 p.m., a barrage of rockets was fired by Hamas to Israel. Then, at 6.59 p.m., a barrage of around 10 rockets was fired by Islamic Jihad from a nearby cemetery. It was at the time that 6.59 p.m. when there were reports of an explosion at the Al-Hali Al-Mahadani Hospital in Gaza City. According to our intelligence, Hamas checked the reports understood it was an Islamic Jihad rocket that had misfired and decided to launch a global media campaign to hide what really happened. They went as far as inflating the numbers of casualties. They understood with absolute certainty that it was a rocket misfired by Islamic Jihad that damaged the hospital. Analysis of our aerial footage confirms that there was no direct hit to the hospital itself. The only location damage is outside the hospital in the parking lot where we can see signs of burning, which I will show later, no cratering and no structural damage to nearby buildings, as opposed to the damage caused by any aerial munition which would have been of different nature. We would have seen craters and structural, and structural damage to the buildings, both of which haven't been, in, haven't been identified in this incident. The size of the damage we see here is due to the warhead of the Islamic Jihad rocket, 
but most of the rocket's propellant is still evident due to the short flight of the rocket because the launch failed. The following visual evidence shows infrared imagery of the parking lot. You can see the central locations of fires, some debris of rooftops, no craters can be identified. I want to show you that <coughs> myself. <coughs> this is the area of the hospital. Okay, we are showing the parking lot and the hospital. Okay, those are in red spots. This is not in infrared, so you can understand it better. This is the parking lot. This is the parking lot. You can see the parking lot also now in this picture shown here. Okay, aftermath, after the hit. There is no structural damage to the building. The walls stand intact. 